we present end-to-end -end egospheric spatial memory, or ESM, a memory module for general embodied artificial intelligence. ESM encodes the surrounding scene into an egosphere, which travels with an agent as it moves through the world. The memory is represented as an omnidirectional 2.5D image, with observations of the surrounding continually projected onto the egosphere. While the agent can take on any form, in this work we focus on drones and robot manipulators, both with six degrees of freedom control. ESM is applicable for onboard cameras, but also for external freely moving cameras and arbitrary combinations in multi-camera setups. ESM involves no learnable weights and instead relies on forward warp reprojections for updating the memory on each time step. We start with the memory at time t minus one and we also have new image observations at time t. Both of these are then forward warped onto the agent egosphere at time t, leading to non-integer polar pixel coordinates. These are then both quantized to integer values and duplicates are probabilistically fused provided the depths are close enough. Otherwise, the lowest depth value is taken, which acts as a depth buffer. Let's look at an off-the-shelf application where raw color values are projected into the memory. The omnidirectional feature image and omnidirectional depth image stored by ESM are shown on the left, as well as the raw camera observations. We can project these to a point cloud to get a more intuitive feel for the represented geometry. For these image dimensions, ESM is able to run at 30 Hz, demonstrating the small computational overhead for updating the module. The real strength of ESM arises when training end-to-end -end as part of a wider neural network. The ESM module can be combined with both pre-module convolutions and post-module convolutions for solving a variety of downstream tasks. The pre-module convolutions enable learnt features to be stored in the module, optimised for any downstream task. The post-module convolutions can then use this stored representation to execute the task. We refer to this network as ESMN. For some tasks, the post-module convolutions are sufficient, with colour values projected directly into the memory. We refer to this network as ESMN RGB. We test ESM in a variety of image-to-action reach tasks. We test for 6 degree of freedom control of both drones and robot manipulators, using either onboard or freely moving cameras, with networks conditioned on target shape or target colour, trained using either imitation learning or reinforcement learning. In all cases, we find that ESMN and ESMN RGB outperform less structured memory baselines, such as long short-term memory and neural Turing machines. The baseline methods are given access to all the same information, including ground truth poses. Here we show an example of the drone reader task with an onboard camera conditioned on target color and trained using imitation learning. The baseline LSTM architecture struggles to optimally interpret the stream of images and poses, and often searches for previously visited targets. Here we show the ESMN RGB agent with the memory images at the bottom. This ESM agent doubles the score of the LSTM baseline on average, performing the task almost optimally. We can also project the memory to a point cloud to again get a more intuitive feel for the geometry. When conditioning on target shape, the ESMN architecture, which includes the pre-module convolutions, is required in order to achieve the best performance. We perform a simple PCA projection to visualize the implicit ESM features as color values. Here, we show an example of the manipulator reader task with a freely moving external camera, conditioned on target color, and trained again using imitation learning. The ESMN RGB agent again achieves a high score while the baseline methods reach less than one target per episode on average, failing to interpret the images from the external camera. The explicit geometry also enables seamless integration with other non-learnt control strategies, such as local obstacle avoidance. The dense egocentric geometry leads to more robust avoidance than is possible using individual depth frames. Finally, we also apply the module to object segmentation. Here, we show the omnidirectional segmentation images at the top, point clouds in the middle, and the raw image stream at the bottom. We show a monocular fusion baseline on the left, ESMN in the middle, and ground truth on the right. Both mono and ESMN mistake the ceiling for wall at the beginning. ESMN then retrospectively corrects for this when the door is seen due to the improved context. Mono later mistakes the table as floor. This is understandable, as the table is the lowest visible plane. 
ESMN uses the wider surrounding context to avoid this mistake. Through our diverse set of experiments, we show that ESM is a widely usable memory module for solving a variety of spatial tasks in an end-to-end -end manner.